Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. In this second part of the interior lighting tutorial, we will talk about the night scene basics, and give you some tips to improve your lighting techniques. So, if we just turn on the render view, there is a bit of a light coming inside, this is the world light. I will add here an HDRI sky and fix it with the mapping node, and let's fast the process a bit, it's the same as we did in part 1, so if you didn't watch it yet, go see it. I'm trying to find a dark area in the HDRI to make it in front, and once you done, fix the height from the camera view. Finally make power 0.5 in value for now. So, I usually start with the hidden light, those lights will position here between the two ceilings, and direct it toward the floor, in this room, we need two of them, both over the windows, and the easiest way to make them is to add an area light. Switch to X-ray mode, position it in place here between those two lines, and scale it to fit, after that, move it up in place, and make sure it aim toward bottom. Once you done with that, go to the light settings here, make the color warm, a bright orange one, and up the power to about 15, then. Make a copy of this light with Shift D and scale it to fit the second wall area. Switch to render view to see what we have. It's a bit harsh because the scene's still dark, so we will leave it like that. Now, we need some lights in the ceiling, spotlights in specific, and for that, I will make a simple spot model to place the light near it. So, add a cylinder. Place it anywhere in the ceiling and scale it to fit. Inset it a bit and extrude this face. After that, in the material settings, we can add two material. First one would be plastic or on metal, something reflective. The second one is an emission light material. This will turn the center face into a light and make sure to assign the face to the emission. In the material preview mode, we can see the difference while increasing the emission power. Make it on 3 for now, and keep the color white. I did add some reflective to the first material with the metallic and roughness values. Now, press Shift A to add a spotlight near the spot model. We often use this one to cast lights over the walls and over the furniture in the room. We will keep the color white and increase the power to 45. Now select both the cylinder and the light to copy them around the room. As I said earlier, and hence we don't have furniture here, I mainly need those spots over the walls, but we will throw some in the middle. Though these spots position need some research from you to how many is needed according to the area, and how to position them due to the shape of the room, we here gonna keep it simple. And once you done, switch to render view to see what we have, those lights over the wall looks good for me. However, 
the room still not lit. What I mostly do is add area lights over the spots and disable the shadows from them, so that it appears like the spots also casting the light around the room, which happens in real life. Once you added the area light, scale it down a bit, and make the power 6 for now. Then, from top view, and while on X-ray mode, copy them around the room. You don't have to be exact on position, just make sure you cover all the areas. Here on the top stairs level, we can copy one of the area light, direct it toward the floor. Increase the power in it to around 20. Once you done, switch to render view to see what we have. Those light reflections need to be hidden from the windows and the floor. Select all the area lights we added in the ceiling, after that, hit Ctrl L to link them on object data, now select one of them and disable both the shadows and the multiple importance in the light settings. The stairs light needs some rotations to fix the shadows it casting, also this area on the right need a spotlight. I did here make the color warm in this light and fix the rotation a bit. Copy one of the spotlights and place it here in this narrow area. Rotate it and make the color warm as well. We can also add some lights to the stairs in two ways. In those two steps, I will select the bottom faces of their overhangs. Then, hit I to insert those faces and extrude them up. Now we can add to the faces a light material to cast some lights under each step. So, in the material settings, add a new material, make an emission light, and assign the selected faces to it. Then in the light settings, I will convert the color to black body so that we can use a color temperature for the light, it give us 1500 as a default yellow light, I need it to be a bright orange one, so, it's around 4200, you can make it 6000 for white color or 11000 for blue one, a simple search online for the color temperatures and you can see every value with its color. So I end up on 3800. Make the strength 12 for now and switch to render view to see what we have. It need more power, so do that. We could also add some lights under the main stairs on the right. This time we will use area lights. Add one here, and scale it to fit this area under the step nose. Make the color warm and up the power to 8 for now. Then, from the front x-ray view, copy this area light along the stairs. You can also turn off the multiple importance to hide their reflections from the floor same as we did with the ceiling lights. So I will leave that to you.